Every mother deserves the perfect son and this one's got a perfect one because he'd gone and dug her up. This is Graveyard Reunion. I cannot tell you who made this kit because the box is somewhere safe. There's Junior and there is Mother. I've had this for quite a few years now. I originally saw it advertised in Amazing Figure Modeler, which I love that magazine and would love to get hold of it every time, but unfortunately it's really, really hard to get hold of and I'm years worth behind on them, but never mind. Uh, but yeah, I just I just loved this this kit. Um, bring it a bit close to you, it's easier to do it that way. There is, bring the lamp back around here. There we go. You see, I have to get out that way, so I have to move the lamp. This has been painted with acrylics and dry brushed and sponged and all sorts of things. And as you can see, I think it's got mother written on the gravestone at the back. There she is. I think she's eyeing you up. <laughs> eyeing you up. You see, she's got a green eyeball under there as well. Um, I really wasn't sure what to go with with the the gooey bits, so I want the yellow and the yellowy green. I thought red was a little bit too, because with this level of decomposition, she wouldn't necessarily be, um, you know, bloody. There is the words graveyard reunion, which I'm thinking of picking out again in white, make it a little bit more visible. There's the grass and. His shovel, the back of the tombstone, which, uh, yep, I didn't paint. I have a, a really bad habit for not painting the bits you can't see, because it wastes paint, and I'm tight. There you go. Um, here he is with his socks. I went for a purple suit. He, I, I don't know. He, I love I love putting purple into my kits. I don't know why, but it's just one of those colours that I always try and get a little bit of purple in there now and again, if I can. Um, that's the problem with painting ones that are based on like movie characters and things like that. You obviously cannot throw in purple into, say, the Predator because the Predator has his colour palette. Um, but I think there is a little bit of purple in there somewhere. You'll see when I show him up. Um, yeah, this was you know, quite an expensive kit in its day, but I had to have it. I just thought it is so cool. It is, you know... ECW comics and things like that. His socks nearly match. Yeah, okay, it is kind of a Joker outfit, but I just thought the colours fit for this. Got the dirt on his hands. These things are never really finished for me. Um, and I have been known sometimes to strip all the paint off of something and paint it again. This one I don't think I will. I, I do like the job I did on this, though. Seeing it under these bright lights, I can see that I didn't quite get the hair right. That's the thing. That's the the thing with these. If it's standing on a shelf in normal lighting, it, yeah, it looks okay. But when you put them out like this under two industrial photography lights and other lighting, then you do see the slight demics and things. But yeah, that's just some of my work. Um, yeah, there'll be some more of these coming because it is, uh, this is Halloween, this is Halloween. So there will be some more horror characters and things like that coming up in this form and there will be some toys as well. I'm rummaging around, I'm trying to find my, um, horror characters and my dad is in the loft at my mum and dad's house because that's where they live. Um, because it's, they're too scared to live around here, apparently. So yeah, so yeah, keep an eye out for these. Uh, if you've liked this, what you can do is you can like, share, subscribe. I'm going to make a folder for these guys. I'm going to make a model kit folder, I've decided. And these will be in it. So, I hope you all have a great day. I hope you all have a great night. And I'll see you all next time in the next video.